My name's Emily Durish. Um, my PhD was on the political and literary patronage of Barking Abbey, so that's a Benedictine convent in what is now part of North London, but at that time was uh, a small community in Essex. And I was interested in looking at the way in which the people who interacted with the nuns of that convent before 1066 were in fact very similar to those who interacted with them after 1066. Most studies had either stopped or started in that year, but I wanted to look at if there was continuity across 1066, and my conclusion was that yes, there absolutely was. Uh, since doing a PhD, I have been working in the University Library. I've been a member of the Rare Books Department now for nearly 14 years, and it's really great to be able to help other researchers find out the material that they need for their own PhD research. Even though I'm not following an academic career path, I think it's useful to know that I can point other scholars at the work I did when I was a student um, to show that I understand the kind of procedures that they're going through when they're doing research within the university library and also just in a personal way it's great to say that I have a publication which is now openly available to people which wasn't before. When I submitted my PhD uh, we didn't have to do electronic deposit we just handed a hard copy in to the university library and then subsequently I discovered that someone had requested to have it microfilmed for the British Library, which was very exciting to me because it showed there was an interest in the subject. And more recently, uh, there's been a project run here by the Office of Scholarly Communications to digitise some of those theses which are on microfilm and uh, mine was selected as one of those. And I was then given the opportunity to make it completely open access to everybody and I was very pleased to do that. Even though I didn't submit my thesis electronically, it is now possible to have those hard copy theses scanned and uploaded to Apollo. Uh, so I'm planning to tell quite a few of my contemporaries from when I was a student that they can have the same service done for their theses to get them out there into the open access for the public. When my thesis was made open access, I did have a quick look at the page to find out what you can do with that information. I saw that you can have a look at how many times it's been downloaded and uh, I have checked several times today and I'm very pleased to see that the numbers have been going up even during the course of one day.